and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for round four of the seasonal tournament. We have played a couple of close matches. Our last match not as close, so we are currently two and one. Um, it's going to be nine rounds today, and so we're about to start round four in less than one minute. Let's see what we're playing against. We're hoping to see some aggro and some Thresh Nasus. That's what we're hoping to see. Let's get this started. Got my pen, my paper. Got it all ready to go. Puppers in the back, hanging out. Okay. So we're gonna be banning the Zoe Shivana Jarvan deck. Deck looks pretty good. One Radiant Guardian. We gotta beat Draven Ezreal and Thresh Nessus. So we'll go ahead and just write these two down. So this opponent is playing Merciless Hunter. Our, the first time that we played against it, they were playing the um, Blight of Caretaker. And they're also playing Black Spear. I'm sad to see that. I liked how my opponent did not have Black Spear. That made things easier. Only one Rhino Negation, but also one copy of the box. It's an interesting one. I think I'm happy to see that, one copy of the box. The slower and more controlly the games go, the better for me. Two, two copies of Atrocity this time. My last opponent was playing three copies, and if they would have had it, they would have got me. Okay, and then Draven Ezreal. Let's see what we got. Only one Captain Farron? I love seeing that. Right, because that's a card that's amazing against us. And only two Rummage. I like seeing that also. That's another card that's great against me. And like a Death Lotus. Like, I don't care at all about Death Lotus. But, I mean, that being said... This deck is still amazing, um, but I'm, I'm happy with some of these card choices, but I mean, it's still, you know, this is not an easy deck to beat. I like Victor Vi Ezreal. I love this deck against Draven Ezreal, but they may ban the Victor Vi Ezreal, and then, or Victor, let's see, Zoe, Victor, <laughs> what is this deck even? Zoe, Victor, really Soul, that deck. I love that matchup. I also like seeing only two Culling Strike. You know, like Braum. Like, I'm not good against Culling Strike, so I like seeing only two of those. But, I mean, you could still just have crazy awesome Tribeam and Probulator that just wrecks no matter what, so...
Okay. Got that all written down. Yeah, Tribeam, always super scary. So even though, like, there's different card choices that they're really trying to beat aggro, as you can tell, like, with their card choices with three Static Shock, one Death Lotus, like, that kind of stuff, only one Captain Farron. There, that's a lot more for aggro than for control, and I'm playing control decks. Draven can still go crazy, and uh, Tribeam and Prime Blader can still go crazy. Kitty Dexterity with the big cheers. Thank you, Kitty Dexterity. Thank you very much. Okay. I'm hoping they ban one of these two. <laughs> I want to play this deck. I want to play this matchup right here. Nobody's ever, nobody ever bans Trundle Brom. Nobody's banned that since, like, 1994. I want to play this matchup and this matchup. I love Trundle Braum versus Thresh Nasus. I love that matchup, and I love this matchup. So, ban this one. Possible they're not here. Nope, they're here. Wow, they banned that. Okay, so now I think I'm leading with. Yeah, I'm gonna lead with Zillion Nessus because because I don't want to like play this deck and then they play Thresh Nessus and then I win that matchup and then I don't get to play it against Raven Ezreal. But I guess that doesn't make sense. Actually, no, that doesn't really make any sense, does it? So no, I should just play this, because then there's... Because if they choose Draven Ezreal, I'm definitely going to want to have this one. Okay. So, I was talking how I really like this matchup, so... Gotta put my money where my mouth is now. Yuck. Well, this hand isn't any good. Send it all back. Jack. Do it again. They got three thermo beam. We go back. Jack. Do it again. So no Zoe. Expecting thermogenic beam. Yep. I think they had that for Zoe. I'm gonna take the meteor shower. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. Because yeah, killing Draven and Ezreal is what I want to be able to do. It's a six mana card could do it also. Why is this thing? Why is this your attack token? Get out of here. Um, I'm going to take the three. I don't know. Could definitely block. No, I guess we just take the three. Draven makes a lot of their other cards better, right? Makes their Rummage, their Stump Treasure, those cards much, much better. It's Draven time. So this is quite, quite unfortunate. Hey, Johan. Hello, hello.
Seasonal tournament's going good. Currently two and one. And we are in round number four. First match for round number four. Time for a true display of skill. Well, they got their, they got their champions. You don't love to see. And Rummage. Don't love to see this. This is setting up for a large tribeam. It's not likely they have the third Draven, right? As far as... Um, that goes. And they just got rid of the spinning axes anyway. Back heretic. Looks like a bunch of Mystic Shots. Okay, well, I guess that happens. So, one Mystic Shot, one Get Excited Town. One of them was an Ezreal one. Yeah, that's pretty good getting four champions. That's pretty good having four champions. comfortable doing this because if they do use Culling Strike, then I'm able to uh, some treasure the Hexcore Foundry. Don't really like where I'm at though with the you know like with the, what they've had. Yeah, I, I am not. Com I do not like where we're at. Sometimes they just get all their champions. I'm so good, I surprised myself. Well, you would have been great to have just a little, just a second ago. Really? Really? You suck. It's not bragging if you could back it up. Um. This is tough. So Trickster blocks Ezreal. Messenger can help me refill my hand. Crescent Strike can slow down the Ezreal.
can't astral protection that. bad. Unless I find some answer for this Ezreal. That could be an answer. Wonderful hand with four champions. Well, I like this matchup a whole lot. This is what I this is how I qualified for the tournament was playing this deck that I'm currently playing and I played against Draven Ezreal all the time and I won almost every match, but I didn't win, you know, you don't win every match. Even even if you like matchups a lot, you don't you're not going to win them all. And Of course, I'd love to get a clip Clips Dragon in play, but I don't think I have that luxury. Equinox. Yeah, they, they really had a, a great hand of having the four champions and being able to take down that fused firebrand as easily as they did. Yep, no Zoe for me, of course. Have to do it to save my Nexus total. Really? That's the one drop they get also is Krusty Codger? Just living their best life. Join the glorious evolution. I have to find Lifesteal with On Victor. My only option right now. Save the Fire, if 
satisfaction. Oh, another hush or star shaping? Star shaping hush? You know, I would, you know, I'd love to play this a hundred times. I think I'm winning, you know, 75 out of a hundred times, but that's the thing about one game samples. Anything, anything can happen in one game. Anything can happen in one game. Because I think they have Scorched Earth in hand. How they dealt the damage to that ballistic bot before, I think that, that was just to enable Scorched Earth. But we shall force them to have it. Even with that, even with having the four champions immediately and everything, one more life and we're winning that. I must advance. I must improve. All right, we'll just run it back with the same deck. So we just have to beat Thresh and Asses twice. Not over yet. No, I won. I just lost my favorite matchup. This deck versus Draven Ezreal. Yeah, let's keep the fangs. Yeah, let's keep the fangs. Ballistic block can be pretty rough into Merciless Hunter if they have that. Okay, so Mountain Goat makes it easier for me to have turn round three Space Sketcher. Equinox would not be a bad hit. Um, I guess we're going Mountain Goat. That's unfortunate. I cannot go. Don't particularly love any of these. One star's is another spark. I guess we're gonna take the Crescent Strike to maybe slow down a Thrash, but I really hope they don't also have a Thrash. Look what they've had so far. Uh, the Equinox honestly wouldn't be like the worst thing on the Ballistic Mod. It's a good draw.
Okay, a 4 1. This is just a good spot for Solari Priestess. I want the Fallen Comet for their champions, you know, with having the 3 1 and the 4 1. We need to save the spell mana. Can you improve perfection? So basically testing them, seeing them, seeing if they play Thrash, if they play Thrash, I have the Fallen Comet. If not, I have the Fangs. Can we stabilize? So maybe we should have grabbed that plus zero plus two spell shield for the bot so the bot can just like block a lot better. Possibly I should have should have done that. The desert by my side. Eh. Quite a scary turn. The round is quite scary. This is. This could be the game. I love it. Didn't take any damage. Very good. Now, we again, this is a three hush deck. Um, that's the card I, I need now for Nasus. Need some hush. I don't think I challenge, because challenging like lets them go even wider. I think I actually just sit back and block. Hey, Death Ray, you could definitely be useful. 
So we haven't seen any glimpse yet. You're not hush useful? Yeah, you're not hush useful. But you could be useful. Hmm. So nine mana. Two atrocity, one right of negation. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get excited my own thing that blocks the thrash. Don't love it. Don't love it at all. Or blocks the Nasus. Yeah, this this matchup you just need hush. Like that's there's that's why your play three hush is because of this deck. Having finding zero hush is just not acceptable. So I can't stop it from leveling up now. I, cannot I, I don't think I'm winning this. If we had a hush, it would have been great. Yeah, Death Ray is going to mess up my draws. Um, we can help buy me some time. Keeping the Sump Treasure alive because it'll be a 3 2, so it can block NASA still, and it's like that's why I'm blocking with the Fangs instead of the Sump Treasure. We just have not. We didn't draw a single champion either. <laughs> Man, we're really bad at finding champions. We are really quite bad at finding champions. Last game my opponent had four champions, this game they have three. I have a whole bunch of nothing. Make that four. Four and four champions. I mean... 
if the, like no matter what champion this is, like if it's if it's Nasus, we lose. If it's Thresh, we lose, right? So it doesn't really matter which whichever one it is, we lose. have it all. So frustrating. I love I love both those matchups. I would play those all day long with that deck. Um, but whenever you have one one person has all the champions, the other person doesn't, and also we have so we have no hush, no champion. Um, yeah, and their their draws were great, right? Like they had all the early stuff that you want into Thresh into Nasus plus more like removal and everything. Good interaction. There's a reason why they're the tier one decks and you don't win you don't win hundred percent of them. Even if you have like a deck that's just built to beat them, you're not gonna win hundred percent of the time. And we didn't. So two and two. Frustrating games for sure. I yeah, frustrating games for sure. But that's how it goes. All right, so we're two and two. We got four round, five rounds. We got five rounds to go. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, feel free to hit that like button and uh, leave those comments again. Uh, hopefully y'all are enjoying the seasonal tournament. Um, yeah, let me know over there in the comment section. All right, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.